Hi everyone, my name is Monica Ramatowska and my partner is Ken Shin Lam. Today we'll be talking about how to make AI responsible and trustworthy as it pertains to data privacy and security. Because data is the backbone of machine learning, it's very important that AI engineers understand the data they use, how it can be exposed to risks, and how to secure it. With this goal in mind, I'll introduce the concept of inference control. This is the ability to share extracts from large-scale datasets for various studies and research projects without revealing sensitive information about individuals in the dataset. There are several examples of a lack of inference control in AI. The infamous Cambridge Analytica case involved a professor who collected more information from Facebook users than they originally consented to. He then sold that data to a company that specialized in consulting for large election campaigns. In addition to that, there was the linkage attack, where despite Netflix's efforts to anonymize user data, researchers found individuals' entire viewing history by connecting Netflix and IMDb data together. Two ways that we can promote privacy in machine learning is through deferential privacy and federated learning. Differential privacy works by adding a controlled amount of noise during processing in order to generate enough ambiguity downstream that any inferences which may compromise privacy cannot be made. Moreover, this is done while still ensuring that the predictions are accurate enough to be practical. This practice is best used on large data sets. Federated learning, on the other hand, relies on the decentralization of user data through the creation of data islands and it does not send the data to a central server. The model is sent to a suitable client and each client trains the model locally. Only the parameters of the model are sent back to the server, allowing for lower latency, enriched user experience, and fewer privacy concerns. The following are recommended practices for responsible AI by Google AI. The first one is to collect and handle data responsibly. There must be consent from customers to use their data, and there must also be a solid use case for data collection. Will the data be used for public or government good, legal or contractual obligation, business or consumer interests, and so on? When considering the model, ask yourself, can the model be trained without using sensitive data? If not, then try to minimize the use of it. It's also good to anonymize and aggregate incoming data using data scrubbing techniques. The second point is leveraging on-device processing where appropriate. So this ties back in with the concept of federated learning. Consider collecting locally computed data rather than the raw interaction data. Employ techniques such as data aggregation, randomization, and scrubbing. Finally, appropriately safeguard the privacy of machine learning models. A few ways to do this is by performing tests to estimate whether the model is unintentionally memorizing or exposing sensitive data. You can also conduct data minimization experiments to optimize the model setting and train models using techniques that can establish mathematical guarantees for privacy. There are also best practices that should be followed for cryptographic and security critical software. There are several regulatory reasons for adhering to secure privacy practices. It's required to have a legal basis for data collection and any violation can be subject to heavy fines. As of January 2021, over 130 jurisdictions have data privacy laws. GDPR, as an example, has stringent requirements about consent handling, data protection, breach disclosure, and the right to erasure. China's personal information security specification law is considered to have more strenuous requirements than GDPR, placing more emphasis on the will of individuals in deciding whether and when to share their own personal information. Thank you all so much for watching our presentation on responsible AI practices for data privacy and security.